This is an overview of the material footer card for Elementor. Let's get started. To get started, drag the material footer card into your Elementor column. What this widget does, it shows a content box for your Elementor footers. You can also use this outside of a footer as an icon box. Let me take you over the settings and show you how you can customize this. So first of all, as you can see, there's an icon over here, a title, some text, and a call to action button. Over here in the general settings, you can change each one of these and edit them. So for example, the icon, I can change to, let's say an envelope. Let's choose this one and click insert. Over here in contact us, I can change the text to email me. And over here, I can change the text to my email or whatever I want. And down here we have button text. This is for the button text over here. So let's change that to send email. And over here in the button link, I can write down my email. So I'm going to do mail to Amit at unlimited elements com. Perfect. So I've got all the content set up. As you can see, you have also an option over here to turn on or off each part of the content box. So for example, if you don't want to show the icon, you can just turn that off and the icon won't show. Or if you don't want to show the title under that, you can turn that off as well. And you can do that for each part of the content box. Let's jump into style over here in style and see what settings we have. So the first settings for alignment, we can align this differently. So for example, if you don't want it to be aligned to the center, you can align it to the left. We can turn on or off the shadow over here. So there's a subtle shadow. I just can turn it off so you can see how it looks without the shadow and you can bring that back on. Let's add a border radius to make our box rounded and add a box border. So let's do solid and for the width I'm going to go for one and for the color I'm going to choose a really subtle gray over here. Awesome. Next thing is for the box top. This is the top part of the box. Over here we can change the background color. So for example if I want a gradient color I can do that or I can just select a solid color from here and I can even use a background image with all the background image settings. Icon size is for the size of the icon. You can play around with the slider over here and change the color if you decide that you want to change the color. Let's turn down the alpha channel over here just to see how that looks. And we have an option for padding. Usually when changing the padding over here, I might want to unlink the values and then just make the top and bottom a little bit bigger depending on my design. Got a really nice card going on over here. Maybe let's make that smaller. Let's go for 60. Title. We can change the title color, the title spacing to space it from the icon. And of course you can change the typography. So let's just make it bigger. Box bottom is the bottom part over here. So we can change the text color of the bottom part and uh, we can also change the padding like we did on top. Inside of button, we have an option to make our button rounded and you can play around with all the settings. For example, spacing, we'll space it out from the text. Let's change the color to blue as well. And it looks awesome. You have hover colors, borders, and everything you need to customize this exactly to your needs. So usually when using this, you're going to use it in a couple of columns. So let's just copy and paste that and paste it over here. And then you can give different colors for each box and different content for each box. Last thing I want to show you is the advanced setting of this widget. So I'm just going to click on it, go to content. And over here, the last button over here is edit widget HTML. This is how our framework works. 
And as you can see, you can add your custom fields over here and you can learn more about the widget creator on our website, unlimitedelements.com. And we describe how you can add custom fields and how you can add attributes, which are over here inside of attributes. You can see it's split into content and style. And you can see that all the different settings that we've edited over here exist here and we can delete them, duplicate them and create new ones by clicking add attribute. I hope you guys found this tutorial helpful. I'm going to see you in the next video.